Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app demo for my photo books by Advanced Software Development. This application is in the photography category, works on the iPad, currently sells for $2.99. This photography application lets you easily create your own virtual photo albums from the 12 different themed categories, place your photos in specialized frames, and then share those prized moments with your friends and family. Here are the opening albums or all the albums you can choose from. Simple, Wedding, Valentine's, Halloween, Back to School, My Baby, Baby Happy Birthday, Adult Happy Birthday, My Baby Boy, of course, My Baby Girl, Travel and Vacation. So there's quite a few albums. And again, the simple album is a catch-all. Let's go ahead and tap on back here. I have a number of photo albums I've already started to give you an example of how to add photos and create a new one. Let's go ahead and tap on Our Wedding. Now, I can create a new photo album by tapping on New, but if I tap on the plus sign here, I could delete the album or I could tap here and edit it. Now, when I go into edit mode, I can do a number of things. Obviously, I can move around the message option here, uh, wherever I would like it. I could delete the photo. Uh, I can add a photo. So I'm going to go to the next page here. And that's the frame it gives me. But if I tap on Add, I can actually pull up a large number of other frame options. And I like this one here. But you can see there are a variety. And I'm going to go with the oval with tons of flowers. Tap there. Now that pulls up. Now to add a photo, you can see it's all very intuitive. Double tap to add a photo. I'm going to go down here to my photo stream and go to my other wedding picture. Tap in there. And now to make it fit, you just drag it and you can pinch out like that and it's that simple and you double tap on the message and you just go ahead uh, walking down the aisle and once you're done with your message you leave it there and again you can move this around now once you're done all together simply tap on save but before that you can see there's three out of 21 we can put more photos in this album but we'll save and it'll save the changes and once it's done it tells you now we can tap on the plus sign and we'll go back out we could we could do some other things delete page change title clear page quit we're gonna go ahead and quit now this is going to take us back to all of our albums. Now I'm going to tap on this photo album and once you go in here, we're not in edit mode, we can't move anything. We could swipe through the album and you can see that. So we can go ahead and tap on the arrows up here. We could share through Facebook as well as email in the top left and we can watch this as a slideshow by tapping on the forward arrow. And we can also pause the slideshow and then we can also go back to where all our photo albums are. Again, we have fun pics there. Same process. I can tap. Well, let's, we can tap on the Halloween again and scroll through here. Have two pictures there. But say I want to add a picture. Let's go ahead and tap on the plus sign again. Edit. And we'll add. And we'll get a different variety. You can see there's a large number of options. I like the spooky house. And I'm going to go ahead and double tap here. Again, tap on your photo stream and come up with an image you want to add. And we'll go ahead and put that there. Double tap here. Spooky hair. And it's that simple. I'm done. I'll just press save and it's that easy. Now the same process works in adding a photo album. After it's done, again, we could go ahead and tap here and quit and that picture will be added. Double tap on our photo album and we scroll through and see it is there. Now if we wanted to create a new photo album, just tap on new and it'll pull up all of the templates for the photo albums. You pick one, adult happy birthday, and again adding a photo you can get a variety of frames again through all of them. Tap there on the plus sign, again quit, and we'll head back to all of our albums. That's it for this iPad app demo. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps, and see ya.